haven't spent much time in Las Vegas. I came here in college when I had no money, and I never really had that much fun because what are you going to do with no money in Vegas? So now I have a little change. I brought my wife, and um, what I want to say what I like about Vegas first. I like the old, kitschy bars. Like, I went, I, I made a video. I went to downtown. I went to the Atomic, Atomic Liquors, which is um, in Casino. It's where Joe Pesci stabs a dude with the knife. Not the knife, the pen. Pen. Anyway, that place hasn't been renovated in, in like 40 years. It's dark. It's smoky. It's the kind of bar you can't find in California anymore. Doesn't exist. Used to. Doesn't anymore. And I like an old, campy, kitschy bar. Don't you? They used to have one in Hayward at Banchero's. I used to go there as a kid. Not, not the bar. But it was like an old, uh, kitschy Italian restaurant. Doesn't exist anymore. I like a bar like that. I like that whole, you know, 1960s, 1950s. Uh, old school Vegas feel. That's very cool. Um, the strip is <laughs> it's cool. It's fun. It's just gaudy. It's just so much gaudy stuff, and it's hard to walk up and down the strip. It takes forever. But what I want to say is, so yesterday, my wife and I go to downtown, and we go get lunch uh, on Fremont Street, and we're starving. We didn't know where to go, so we just duck into some place called like whiskey, like liquor to whiskey liquor. It, it just like it looks like a, a pub. We go inside, and it's it's. Hooters, you know what I'm saying, in terms of the, the service, and nothing against that, but it's like, I'm with my wife, I didn't, I, we, neither of us were banking on going to freaking, they don't have places like that in California, unless it's Hooters, but here it's like, you know, all the girls are like barely wearing any clothes, and I'm like, it's like a minefield when you're with, with your wife, I thought I'd be go ogling him if I wasn't with her, but it's like, you look around the room, and it's like, oh, oh, it's like, sorry, I, I wasn't, I, so it's okay, so we had the Hooters experience, and it's like, all right, that's on us, never heard of the place, that night, we, it's, it's last night. It's uh, New Year's Eve. And like to get dinner in New Year's Eve in Vegas, you have to get a reservation. The price of menus is all, it's all hell of expensive. And it's like, fine, let's do it. You know, I'm only in Vegas once. I'm never going to come back to Vegas for New Year's Eve. We go to this place called Yellowtail in the Bellagio. It's a Michelin star restaurant. Hell of tasty. It's Hooters again. It's Hooters again. All the, uh, the waitresses barely wearing any clothes. And it's like, man. Do you have to do this? Do they force you to do this? It's just, I don't know. Uh, it may be uncomfortable. It's like, you don't have to do that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, the restaurant, the food's really good, um, but that is kind of weird. Like, I don't know. Like, who, who decided that that has to happen at every restaurant? The one thing I will say, though, Cirque du Soleil is hell of fun. I went to O. They have a bunch of them. The one in the Bellagio is called O. It's like water themed, and there's all this like jumping in a pool. So cool. Highly recommend it. Um, Vegas is fun, but for someone who doesn't gamble or stay up late, uh, not really for me. But I had a good time. I had a good time. Cirque, Cirque du Soleil was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. I'll give it that. Those are my final thoughts on Las Vegas. Good time.